So the 76ers, they beat the Hawks. So they're up two to one. I think they'll go up three one. They seem to figure it out. I know they got a lot more help from the bench from Dwight Howard and Fork Moss. But uh, Ben Simmons played well, Tobias Harris played well, and Beats and Beat. And yeah, man, the Hawks. <clears throat> the Hawks outside of Gallinari on the bench. They got no help. Trey Young did score 28, but he's got to score 30 and plus for them to, to win. And biggest difference in this game to me was they were terrible from the three-point line. Hawks were terrible. At one point, they were down by 20 plus points. So, yeah, I expect more of the same thing come game four. I just think that the 76ers have figured out the formula to beat down the Hawks, so to speak. So, it's nothing against the Hawks, personally. 76ers are just a better team, more physical team, uh, just more dominant. And play better defense than the Hawks. So, the series obviously is not over. Things could change, but I, I definitely think that the 76ers will uh, win game four and then they'll they'll basically win a gentleman sweep as I predicted before. So that's why I think it's going going to happen. So let me know what you think the Hawks can do to adjust and tie up the series. Or do you just straight up think the series is over? Because that's basically where I have it, uh, you know, overall. But yeah, man, Six is doing their damn thing. They on their way to the Eastern Conference Finals. And that's pretty much it on that. Um, next, I'm going to talk about uh, why the Clippers won game three against the Jazz.